In this video, I'll be walking you through the basics of Excel, how to set up a spreadsheet and how to enter data. So, let's get started. So, I have Microsoft Excel open already. So, the version which I'm using is uh, 2019. In case you have not opened yours, you just click on the Start menu, search for Excel and Excel is going to open. So, if you're opening Excel for the first time, you shall find here the Home option the new option and the open option. The home option gives you more options here depending on what you are using Microsoft Excel for because Microsoft Excel is basically used for data entry, data management, our accounting purposes, example, the schools to calculate the funds, the fee invoices, and also the, st the student results. So, and also charting and graphing, which is actually crucial in Excel since it makes it more better and much more simpler to read and understand data. Now, let's get into it now. So, first things first, we have the home option here, which gives you the option for a blank workbook. For the blank workbook is basically a, a workbook which is made up of collection of spreadsheets. So, spreadsheets are like small pages inside a book. So, the whole book is now the workbook. Now, those sheets each by each is all now we can either call a spreadsheet or the worksheet. It's the same thing. Or else you can just take a tour of Excel and try to walk through it to see uh, the new features which they have updated in the current uh, 2019 version which I'm using. The other option which you have is the new option whereby you can create a blank workbook. So for the blank workbook it actually just gives you a blank workbook with nothing in, involved in it. But if you want other features which are uh, actually made, example now we have now the templates. So you can actually scroll down. We have so many options for the templates depending on which purpose you're trying to work with Excel. So all of the options are here now. So you just click on the one you want or else you can even search for any which you want. The open one opens for you the recent projects which you have been doing. So all the projects which you have been doing right now, they are all here. Now, we just go back to our new option. Let's click on the blank workbook. The blank workbook opens for you blank workbook. So first things first, we have our ribbon here. So the ribbon is actually made up of uh, uh, the group inside here. But let's start off from the tabs. First things first, we have the file tab, we have the home tab, the insert tab, the page layout, the formulas, data, review, view, and also the QuickBooks option. So actually you can link Microsoft Excel with QuickBooks. So inside now each tab, we have the groups now. Example, now you're in the home tab, we have the font group, we have the alignment group, the numbers group, the styles group, the sales group, and the editing group. So now, inside the same same one now, yeah, we have these shortcut options here now. This panel here is called the quick access toolbar. It shows for you the shortcuts which you might want. You can even add some and remove some. So the quick access toolbar appears on top of the ribbon. When you click on the arrow here, it shows you a drop down list whereby you can move it below the ribbon. So you click on show below your ribbon. You can again still come back here, see what? Show above the ribbon. It still goes back on top of the ribbon. Other options which are there are this one. Now, when you double click on a tab, it automatically hides your ribbon. One more time, double click, it shows again. So, we have this now. This is now our worksheet, or you can call it our own spreadsheet. Worksheet and spreadsheets are terms which are interchangeably used, so they both mean the same thing. We have the formula bar here. We have the name box here, which shows you the name of a cell. So a cell is actually an intersection of a column and a row. So example, I click on uh, this box here. This box is uh, our cell. It's actually made up of the intersection of the column C and the row seven. So we call this box or this cell, cell C7. When you come at your uh, name box, you find the, the name of your cell here. It's, uh, it's actually cell C7. The other option we have now is the sheets here. So we can add new worksheets. You just click on the plus button, it adds you new sheets. So if you are doing like sales, so you can be running like the work for January, February, March, maybe there are different classes. We can have like maths, English, Kiswahili. So these are now your sheets. If you want to remove any sheet, you just right click on it, you say delete, right click on the other one, you say delete, right click on the other one, delete, until you just remain with how many sheets you want. So to avoid confusion, we, actually, we automatically rename our sheets. So you can right click on a sheet, you see the name, example, I can call it like January, you press enter on your keyboard, I can right click on the other one, I can say the name, I can call it like February. So it helps you to understand where specific data and information is. It makes your work more easier. So we can roll down, we can roll up. Now let's try to enter some data here. Example, we start off from the first cell, which is cell A1. 
So we can enter some simple data, assuming you're running an institution, yeah, or else you're running a shop. So we should just try to come up with multiple examples which fit uh, at least almost everyone who's trying to use Excel for their own purposes. So if you're running a school example right now, we have names. We might have another one, like let's say we teach maths, let's say we teach English, let's say we actually teach application packages, so adjust AP application packages, application packages. So if I try to go to my next one, this one is full on this box. So whenever a cell is full or it can't fit the content which you're trying to fit, you can actually, you have two options, you can either click outside, you come in between the two columns, you click all, you drag. Whatever it is you're doing right now is just to enlarge the width of the column. Either way, I'll just undo the shortcut to undo here. It returns back at the change. I can just highlight my work. Then I click here on format. I say what? Out of fit column width. If it was a row now, let's say your work was not fitting between this now two rows here. So we can enlarge here now the height of our rows, but this one we are only interested with the width of our column. So we just click on auto fit column width, it automatically fits your column width. So names, you can just like in two names or five names at most, you can have someone like Hassan. You just press down on the bottom arrow, it's, like, it's actually gonna go down. You can have a name like uh, Nelly. Maths, I just come up with any values of my own choice. After that, so how do we save this data? Now, we have two options here. When you click on file, you have the option to save and to save us. What's the big difference? Save is when you're saving your work for the first time. So it's actually your first time if you're trying to save the work. So when you say save, it's gonna pop up the save us a dialog box. So you have to choose how you want to save it. Save us now is when you're trying to save it again. As the same, same file, but now you're trying to save it as differently, either with a different name or on a different location. So that's the reason, say now save us. My main option here is, is you just click on save. I can say browse. I choose where I want to save it, either on the desktop or anywhere, I just click here, I can highlight, I give it a name, example, introduction, then I just say save. It is automatically saved. If you come here on top of your work here, you find the file name of your work, which is actually the Excel which is saved, then that's easy peasy. So on the next video, I'm going to be showing you how now we can do the, uh, the calculation example, how you can have the formula total, how you actually do the total, the sum, the average, and other methods of a calculation. So thank you very much.